So I'm glad you joined me um, to see this office makeover. Now, office is completely finished from what you're seeing right now. Um, as you watch the video, you will see uh, the struggles, some frustration, and like pure comedy. Cause like, half, I was halfway delirious. <laughs> I must've been for what I was talking about. Um, but it was an extremely amazing process. So go ahead, dive into the video and I'll see you at the end so we can chit chat about everything that this office is. So guys, I know this looks terrible and I'm very ashamed to say that this is how my office looks right now. But I mean, you get the idea, right? So I'm gonna come in here and get started on this room. This is the before, the messy, messy, messy before. And yes, I'm propagating the plant in a kombucha bottle. Do not judge me. So this is what we're looking like right now. So yeah, I'm gonna clean it out, tape it up, and get to painting. See you soon. So I'm back, took a little break, popped out for a second. Um, so the I went ahead and paint chose paint and I painted the office. Well, my soon to be humble office, right? Um, so as you've seen before, I also took the time to set up the foundational elements of both the shelf that I would like to create and the desk. Really, it's just a bare bone structure right now. I still have to cover it in plywood and of course, attach it to the wall and stain it. So I hope to be doing a more natural stain because once I show you the room, which you can probably see behind me, is like a really nice and airy color right now. So everything is just super nice, super bright, feels productive in here. That's, that's the, what I'm going for, productivity. Right, so this color is actually um, Macaroon Cream by Bear. Uh, I'll link that for you guys if you like this color. But I'll be staining everything because I picked natural wood to be able to cover and bring in this room. I don't really want a white desk. I don't want a black desk. <laughs> I don't want a gray desk like the one I had before. I want something like super natural and natural looking. So both the shelf and the desk, don't even know what I'm creating. Um, both the shelf and the desk will be like a natural color. So I'm thinking more like a almond, a light almond stain for this room. Cause I'm like in a mix of boho and Scandinavian in here, even though like the rest of the house is like super modern glam, eh, a little Scandinavian here and there, we dine our own table. So um, I will be doing that in here. So I hope, that like once everything comes together it looks really nice but i'm really digging this color right now because even though the rest of the house is gray it's so dark and i don't get too much direct sunlight in my window so like i always get an overcast of whatever is going on outside because my neighbor's house is like a direct line of shadow for my house so yeah it's just a problem but I mean, it works out, right? So we're gonna get into these bookcases and hanging the hanging the bookcase structure and hanging the desk structure. I'm gonna go to Home Depot and probably grab some plywood for the desk because I plan on covering it. I think I think I bought some birch wood, birch wood plywood. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna find something that I can stain and put on this desk because it's gonna be from wall to wall in length. So we are gonna see how okay listen we're gonna see how this work out because just like i told y'all last time with the green wall listen pray for me because i might be jacking up a wall but we gonna pray we get we, we gonna pray on it, and it it's gonna work out yeah i think so it should so <laughs> you know, i'm gonna take y'all on this journey so i'm gonna get into it i'm actually gonna change and figure something out and hopefully come back with good news and not disappointment See you later. So we are back. Okay, so update, <laughs> update, because it's been a whole 24 hours. So I said that I was gonna, you know, put the bones together. You seen the structure, and then I was supposed to show you what it looks like on the wall. Well, that didn't happen. I had to call in reinforcements because uh, this is heavy. Like, and I have not been in the gym like I should. And this just showed me what I need to be working on. So I call 
the reinforcements, I got it placed on the wall, and then I called my uncle to come and help me cut out the plywood pieces that I will be using for both the desktop and for the top and bottom of the shelf, right? So now we have to get into the design of it all, right? Because you know, the structural elements, they are big, they are big piece of the project, but we, we trying to see what it look like. So I'm going to have to poke around the sides, seal everything off, um, do a little wood putty and some of the gaps between the pieces of plywood because some areas will cut to make it fit. And then I'm going to do some type of banding for this box because I want me to be able to stain it. Two, I want to finish look. I don't want to be able to see these screws or any of this premium cut wood, whatever. Nobody cares about that. I want to encase it, stain it, stain the whole thing, and put a polyurethane gloss um, sealing over it to make it just, you know, that. She's gonna be that girl. So, we're gonna get into some things. I have to hurry up and get it together because this got furniture coming. I'm hoping that, I, I hope I like this couch that I'm ordering. And then I have some lights and stuff. So we're gonna get into the design after I show you the finished desk. And then we're gonna we gonna we're gonna come on back and we're gonna put some things up on this wall. I'm gonna off camera, I'm gonna go ahead and send down these bookcases and get them prepped for this room, get them prepped for paint, really, because I'm gonna have to paint them. <laughs> so we're really gonna get into this look. So
super even gives you the the aesthetic that I'm going for. So I will be filling that in. I will be putting some things up, hanging lighting tonight. I'm stylizing the shelf that I made. I actually found a coffee table at IKEA. Um, I don't know how many times I walked past this coffee table. I was like, I don't know. But it's actually the perfect size with what my furniture is gonna look like in this room, as well as the type of footing that I have. I also have my curtains. Oh my God. So, huh, found my curtains. These are going to be beautiful in this room. They're white and they're supposed to be gray, but that looked black to me. I don't know if it looked black to you, but they're stripes and they're long and they're gonna be so beautiful. I have a, I'm, well, I need to go get a, um, a curtain rod, a black curtain rod for this room. I'm gonna hang floor to ceiling. It's gonna be gorgeous. I also got this rug. It was on sale at Ikea for like $9 and I thought it would be complimentary to the curtains and to the fact that I have pillowcases with a similar design coming. So, we gotta get into it. We are gonna get into it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a whole vibe. My only question is, We almost there. So I'm gonna get into designing this room, cleaning it out. It's full of those. It's dust everywhere. Child, it's dust on dust on the desk. It's it's just dust. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on in the here. So we gotta clear it out. And yeah. So it's gonna be dope. I can't wait. Yes. So don't be mad. Don't don't listen. I've been decorating and not filming. I'm gonna say it one more time just to just so y'all hear me because I know I know you probably think, well, bitch, well, what was the point? I've been decorating and not filming, as you can see, there's some things <laughs> behind me that weren't there before. That's one. Now there's another side of this room that I started to put together. I just have to come on camera and let you know. Baby, listen, <laughs> when this room is done, don't call me because I'm going to be laid out somewhere, preferably in this room working, because <laughs> you know, th there was a will, there's a way, okay? So I'm going to just, just turn this around. Now, mind you, don't, don't, don't judge this room because I like this room and work in progress and it's a mess in here because I keep putting things in place and be like, mm, don't like that. Mm, don't like that. So we done had enough of, mm, don't like that. So now we finally got a like an aesthetic. We have an aesthetic. Curtains are up. We now have a cocktail table. Well, it's supposed to be nesting tables, but I separated them because, you know, <laughs> I'm that person. So, y'all, just look at this. Look at it. Ha! Ha! Wanna tell you this room come together, baby. <laughs> Just look at it behind me. Oh, she cute. She ready. So I'm gonna show y'all a little the other side of this room. Oh, and by the way, oh yeah, the chairs are here. Chairs are here. Didn't say that before. Saying it now. Damn, my skin look good. Poor Jesus. Somebody come get me. No, for real. Don't send nobody in my way. Um <laughs> So I just actually put up two shelves. Now, I know you're wondering like, is why you need a shelf? You got a shelf about as long as the wall. Because, and then I got shelving behind me. Because it just wasn't, it wasn't being, the, face, the space wasn't being filled. And because I made everything float in this room, quote unquote, I have no storage. So now I have to figure out how I'm gonna store things, what's gonna go where, how it's gonna go there, and all of those things. So now I done figured it out. But Listen, I done figured it out and I got a design behind it and it don't look crazy. That's that's all I want. This is not gonna look crazy. So I'm gonna show y'all what I just did. So you see this set light. Set light right there, that light right there. I decided to make like a miniature chandelier type of little thing in the corner. 
in the corner of this room. And I'm like, wow, it looks amazing. Cannot wait to put the gloves on it. I probably have to like shift it back just a little. And once I do that, we gonna be, <laughs> once this next shelf get up, baby, we basically gonna be done. Now all we have to wait on is the prints that I have to put up in this room. I've been working on this room for almost two months. Like, we gonna be done. Like, oh my God, we're gonna be done. So I'm gonna show y'all this, I'm gonna get off of here and I'm gonna be done. Okay, okay, bye. So, listen, there's a few things I'm having an issue with in this room. And I know I just, I, I had a whole kiki just a second ago about almost being done with this room, but you know one thing that makes the room is knickknacks. And what I mean by knickknacks is like the little accent pieces. You know, I done went to every, every Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, what is it? Marshalls, Burlington's, uh, Ross, I keep me and IKEA on a first name basis at this point, baby. Listen, they ain't a nick, a knack, a, a, a accent piece anywhere to be found, okay? Y'all done clear the joint out, okay? I know we've been at home and I know y'all tired of looking at the little funky little space. I get it, cause you know, I just did five rooms. Oh, I totally understand. But y'all couldn't save a girl one gold knickknack, one black knickknack. I can't even find a poster. Like, y'all done wiped out SD too. Like, I'm, you know what? I'm just, you know, if you see something cute and you think it would fit in this room, let me just tell you right now, DM me the piece as soon as you see it. Or buy it. I cash at the bank because I, listen, I done sent my mama on a hunt. I don't send my grandmama on a hunt. Hell, I don't even send my auntie on a hunt for some Nick and Nax, okay? What I'm gonna put on the shelf? Oh, you see my gumbo magazine in the back, girl? She real cute. <laughs> Just wait till my gumbo shelf come together, okay? She's she's un unfuckwittable in the corner, okay? But you see the rest of these shelves, what, what's there? What's, what is that? A candle? That, 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 that ain't nothing. That ain't nothing, okay? That stuff, it, it, mm, I ain't even feeling it. So I need a nick and a knack. So, you know, share with me some of your entrepreneurial friends who are selling amazing things that can just sit on my shelf. Cause I need, I need to be cute. We need to be snatched in these videos when I start filming again, okay? So help a girl out. Ignore the crap around the room, okay? Okay, so we got a shelf going here directly across from this shelf. You see how cute this shelf is? And then we got a glimpse of the chair, a glimpse of the chair, Cause y'all gotta see, y'all gotta see it together. I ain't even gonna justify y'all seeing the whole chair. Y'all didn't even see the whole desk yet. So we gonna, we gonna start there. Curtains are up. Yeah, the rod shifted. We gonna fix that in a minute. But you see my little makeshift chandelier there. Yeah, that's, that's where we're at right now. So we just hung up one shelf. We're gonna hang the other one and I'm come back. All right, y'all, I'm back. It's like day whatever again. Um, So the thing is, I just got my painting back from Michael's. I had to frame it. It was a painting that I got while I was at the city on stilts in uh, Benin. So I finally got it framed after having it for like almost four years, I believe. Yeah, I've had it for four years and I finally found this wall, have this wall to put it on and it's gonna make this room, it's one of the centerpieces of this room and I really love this painting so we're gonna get into it. We're gonna unwrap it and see what it looks like. I have a sneak peek in the store, but I haven't seen the whole thing unwrapped. So we're gonna get into it. And then hopefully I'm gonna be able to hang this. I'm probably not gonna be able to hang it by myself because it is, it is quite heavy. Um, because they did put it in a nice frame with glass. So I'm just trying to see what it looks like now. Um, I'm really excited about this because I based my entire design around this, this uh, painting. So, we gonna see if it don't look right i'm gonna be hurt but i don't think i'm gonna be as hurt because i still have 
painting is framed, it's not gonna be deteriorate anymore because you know over time paint starts to crack, especially with acrylic paints and um, natural paints as well, which was a combination of what this painting is made of. So I just wanted to make sure it's protected and that I'll keep it and be able to pass it on to my future kids. You don't know if that's happening, but hey, you never know. Like this will be one of my legacy pieces. So we gonna get into it because this is my little lady. My little lady and she's so cute. We gonna get it. Look at her. Like, and we put this like detail on the frame because it was just this at first. And um, we put this detail to match this here because it's like, it just brought it all the way together. It looks like it belongs in there. She looks so good. And I do believe they tried to clean her up a little bit. Um, like with some of the cracking and make sure it's all in place. But, oh my gosh, this looks amazing. This looks so good. And it's gonna live on this wall. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna call some reinforcements to help me put it up on the wall and I'm gonna come back with it up on the wall. Okay, I'm gonna finish up this room, I'm gonna finish cleaning because a lot of it is like me shredding mail. <laughs> That's really what's taking so long. And so once I get through everything, then I will show you the final results and products of this room and what it actually came out to look like. completed the office um I'm really curious to see what the feedback will be I know my family has been waiting to see it because this has been a long project like from building the desk the shelf and figuring out the type of furniture that would be in this space as how as well as how I would design it and like what it would come out looking like I don't think it was anybody's expectation I remember when we when I started this process with you guys I was like oh we're gonna do something Scandinavian and floral and da 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 the only thing I knew I wanted was a cognac color couch I ended up, ended up getting two chairs that very color and it ended up working out but there's nothing more floral than having real plants and uh it's an aesthetic so I have I don't know like it isn't it's nothing by far it's not what I even expected but it is better than what I was hoping for, to be honest. So I love my desk, even though it's higher than average height. I love my desk, it's like a bar height. Um, I love the seating arrangements because now I can fit comfortably roughly five people in here at one time. And that's gonna be interesting, especially because I have a ton of new projects coming up this fall. So um, being able to have a co-working space in my house, especially with everything going on in the world it just makes things a lot more simpler and i feel like i can do this to you. i can smell like money here like if you can smell it, it smell like money and i'm just over the moon with like how everything turned out it was a process i'm not gonna lie because i was getting frustrated along the way but i think the learning curve of what building patience looks like when you're building something from scratch like i could have easily spent the same amount of money that I spent to, well, a little bit more than what I spent to build the desk in the show, 
to go buy an actual desk. Now, that's not something that I wanted. I had the IKEA Alex desk, it wasn't working for me, and it really wasn't working for this room because having this desk up against this wall like this saved me so much space and allows me to navigate this room and actually move in this room. And it's not sitting on the fucking floor, like I'm not stepping on anything or tripping on cords or whatever the case may be. Like things are put in their perspective areas. And I love that. And then one of the biggest features that this office needed was the fact that like I wanted a vanity quote unquote a studio vanity so I can get back into making hair videos for YouTube. That's something that I've done. I love doing, but I just never had the right lighting or space to do so. So now that I have both the equipment, right space, and it's not claustrophobic and I have a background set, like nothing's moving, I can now create freely without thinking about all the other things. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the office. Um, let me know, like DM me. Also, I'm still looking for a nick and a knack. So don't, don't be afraid to DM me some cool artifacts that you come across. That would be awesome. Um, we're still in quarantine. So of course, everything's still sold out as far as, um, it goes for accessibility to certain things. So thanks for joining me. Uh, yeah, and I'm out. <laughs> and that's that. <laughs>